Day 13 on picking across America, and I've got a couple new friends. When you're sweating and you got a hat on, this will happen. Starting out the day, checking out the Bedford, Virginia Goodwill. Let's see if we have some luck. The prices at this Goodwill are really good, really solid. $1.99 on this Monsters University plush. I should get at least eight. It's kind of a borderline item, but it's easy to ship, and I like it. This is a Peppa Pig motorhome. It's electronic, so I don't really want to test it if I don't have to, and it wasn't worth quite enough to make it worth my time to do so at $3.99, so I decided to pass. This is a Asheville tourist um, jersey, a stadium giveaway. It was $4.99. I should be able to flip this on eBay for about $15 to $20, maybe more, plus shipping. Made our way up to Roanoke, and right away, Don found these vintage, or kind of vintage, Kellogg's Mickey Mouse bobbleheads. Now, if you look at them, they look kind of vintage-y, and they look pretty cool. And they had them priced at $9.99, but unfortunately, that's about what they're worth. Seven, eight, nine, ten dollars $10 plus shipping. So unfortunately, as cool as they were, we had to pass on them. As you flip items for a while, you definitely start to get an eye for what will or won't be worth money. This looks cool. I used to look at these all the time when I was new, 10, 11 years ago, and thought they were worth a ton. They're just simply not worth that much at all, unfortunately. These glasses are cool. 1982 World's Fair Wendy's but they're only worth about three, four, five dollars each plus shipping. It's funny that we're all the way out here in Bedford in Commonwealth Picker area, and there's an LA Rams sweatshirt right here, his favorite team. Weird. Hey, look at me getting outside of my comfort zone. Cleveland Brown, Nike dry fit, NFL equipment shorts, in really nice condition, or at least it seemed, for $4.99, $4.49, sorry. I was gonna get these, I put these in my cart, but upon further inspection, check this out. There's some brown stains on them, so I had to pass. Going out on a limb here, a Buck Cherry hoodie. Couldn't find anything on it. They probably haven't made many of these in the last 10 years or so. So I'm gonna take a chance at $5. Probably gonna ask 20 to $30 plus shipping. Wish me luck. Now these are interesting. Kawhi Leonard Jolly Ranchers New Balance basketball shoes. A little bit pricey, they're $25. But there's something, I really haven't seen that often. I think I saw them on Instagram once or something like that. I was going to get them. Uh, they weren't super valuable. Maybe get 50 bucks. But look right there. There was damage. And I was already on the fence, so I decided to put them back. Just, just couldn't risk it. This is a pretty solid bread and butter toy bag right here. A bag filled with Monster Jam. $5.99. That's right on the edge of whether I should buy it or not. But when I got up to buy it, they actually only ended up charging me $2.99. So I can't complain about that. And it had something extra in it. I didn't notice at first. A DC 1989 Batmobile die cast car. That's worth four or five bucks, maybe more by itself. We're leaving the first Roanoke Goodwill. What do you think, Don? Uh, it was okay. You, you didn't. Found some things. I found two things. Don found nothing. But there are <laughs> there are apartments right here, right next to the Goodwill, guys. Right next to the Goodwill. I was saying, if we lived in Roanoke, that would. I don't care how bad it is. It's probably it looks really nice. But if it wasn't good, we'd still we'd move here, Don. So we could just walk out, go to the Goodwill, right? All Bring, day long we go back. And yeah, just back and forth, five trips a day. Every time there's fresh stuff, it would be a problem. It's probably best we don't live here. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's amazing. <laughs> we just passed a miniature golf course, and Don wants to try. I don't think we're going to do it right now, but just let you. It wouldn't win. No, no, I'd, I'd win by double digits easily. No, no, no seriously, it wouldn't no. even. I could. I could put right-handed. I'm left-handed. I could put right-handed, blindfolded. I'd win by double digits. No. I don't think you know how I good I am at this. <laughs> I know you're not. That's no, I, I, I <laughs> don't underestimate me. I may look like a bit of a, like a you're scholar <laughs> and a, a genius, but I'm also wildly, wildly athletic. I, Playing miniature golf? Yeah. It takes a lot of athletic ability. Think oh. about it. The putt the form, the concentration, Don. You wouldn't get it because you haven't done it. How many times have you been garage, or, uh, garage sailing? That's where my head is. How many times have you been miniature golfing? In my life yes. or with you? Well, I don't think we've won, have we? Yeah, we've done it at like Lagoon. Oh, yeah. Done it. How many we times have you won? Golf. I mean, that's not miniature golfing. That's like real, yeah, real golf. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. How many times have you been miniature golf? A bunch. I've younger. been more than that. More than that. This it's on. One of these days we're going to do it, guys. We're going to film it, and um, you're going to see how good I am. And uh, I'm going to win Dawn. 
We just arrived at Subway for lunch and look at these seats. Look at these seats. Look, look at that. <laughs> they look super sturdy. And they wow. little sliver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Subways, eat fresh guys. So that was interesting. We just <laughs> left Subway and we walked in and apparently the manager had just, just quit. Just walked off the job and quit. Just walked off the job and quit. So we both got meals with a drink and I think we paid six bucks. They only charged us for one sandwich. They were mad. They were talking yeah. about their quitting and they asked us if they rental. should. They gave the people before us free food too. Uh, I mean, they were just upset. I told they, them I did, we did eBay and they should look into that kind of TikTok. stuff. And TikTok and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. She came up to us and asked if you were working for $12 an hour with no benefits, would you, would you stay? I said, nope. Nope. I said, nope too. $12 an hour. Woo. When I first started, because I've done a lot of fast food jobs and I've quit, um, I was making seven twenty-five my first job. Let me do. I do want to tell you, tell you all a story about when I quit Olive Garden back in the day. So, Don, I was a server at Olive Garden. Do you know that? I, yeah. One of the best. <laughs> one of the best Utah's ever known. And he's a klutz, so I know. I'm that a klutz. I drop well. drinks on people at <laughs> seriously at least two times. Oh, I don't It's a terrible that. feeling because you know you're not getting a, a, a tip. I think they still did. They you were dropped food all over the place. No, it was it was drinks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I was so nervous to quit because I don't like uh, confrontation, right? So uh, one day I was trying to figure out how to quit because I just didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't have to. I was in school. I was doing other stuff. Um, I made. I wrote a letter. I think I typed it out and I put it in an envelope and I left it in the front. You typed it out like in your typewriter? I think I did. I think I, no, not in a typewriter. It's not that long ago. I had a computer. I think I typed it out though. And I put it in the double, uh, the double door, the glass door, the what open, you, what it say? you know, to open, you know, when you're in there, your family, um, Olive Garden place. And I just put it in there like at three and I don't know, early in the morning or something when they weren't there. And I, I never went back, never heard from them. So they didn't fight for me. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably like thank goodness he's a nice kid but he's terrible i get that a lot <laughs> at another roanoke goodwill in virginia wish me luck i found this euro 2016 england polo shirt only five dollars couldn't find out a ton about it but I'm hoping I can get about 15 to 25 on this plus shipping. Dawn is also trying to expand what she picks. This is a satin like 1980s jacket with the shoulder pads. I remember those really well. Everything my mom had when I was a kid had shoulder pads on it. This is cool, has a lot of style. We'll see how it does. You know I like to be by your side. Don't tell Don. I went in to get some boxes um, at Walmart. Yeah, they have sports cards. She said it was okay, kind of. They have everything here, which I'm jealous of. There's nothing in Vegas, a little bit in Utah, but they have everything here. Um, and they have some draft pick football. I'd normally buy a couple boxes of this, of this. It's not highly valuable, but it's got the new rookies and there could be something good in it. It'll be fun to open while here um, hanging out. So I'm gonna get a box, uh, wish me luck. Interesting to note, since we are in Liberty University country, there's Malik Willis, Liberty University quarterback, on the front of the box. I got all the items you requested and nothing more, Don. Only the items requested. Right. Only the items requested. You have nothing to worry about. I wouldn't dare waste our money. <laughs> okay, guys, we're about to go eat dinner with Kevin the Commonwealth Picker and his wife, and me patron. We're gonna have a good time. I keep saying that. I keep having these words I reuse all the time. We're gonna have a good time, all right, or like, that's, I forget what I say, but I have a lot of filler words, so bear with me. My wife should be here in a minute. Okay, Turner, say something cool. Uh, say, say, I got hundreds of people who watch this, not very many. Uh, save a spinner dollars. Save, save a dollar, spin a dollar. Yes, <laughs> yes, words to live by. Look at this, look at this. I wouldn't watch him, it's a waste of your time. <laughs> What Look at this. That? This dude does not <laughs> shut up about the Enemy. Look at this. Look at this. Blue Ridge Mama's here. Megan's here. Turner. We're eating, guys. He just does not stop talking business. This guy, he's a mess. He's a mess. <laughs> just got back from hanging out with Kevin and his family. It was awesome. Super nice people. Uh, Kevin's all right, I guess. Um, we had a great time. Good dinner. Um, and tomorrow we're heading out.